Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome to the 2021 year recap. Really short and sweet this time. A lot of stuff happened this year. It was a big year for me, personally. A lot of stuff happened in my life, which you'll see here. Kind of like a teaser if I release any of the vlogs or if I just keep it a lot to myself. But uh, yeah, enjoy this one. It'll be really short. Bit of a recap. I'll be talking over it a little bit through music and some videos. So, hope you guys have a great holiday. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And I'll probably just release this, even though Happy New Year's hasn't been done yet. So, yeah. See you next year, guys. Bye. Alright, starting off in January, I started working at a new place, which, honestly, I'm really bored of right now. And I also was planning the ring for the proposal for Reese, who's now my wife, so that's crazy. And we got a parents' blessing to get married and do the whole proposal as well. And we worked on our cookies, which you can now buy on ahava.cookies on Instagram if you ever want to check it out. It's pretty good. We only really sell chocolate chip cookies right now. Still experimenting after all this time, so there you go. In February is my birthday. We went out to Newtown and had breakfast and some mini golf and lunch at a pizza place, which honestly, as a simple man, is a bit too fancy for me, but it was still kind of nice. And we also went around looking at wedding venues, which is pretty cool and we decided on the world pen gardens march was a big day i got a haircut i looked good i was really nervous and i had the ring at this point already just a few days before my planned date and proposal and then i proposed to my now wife on a crazy super crazy day where the weather was going everywhere it was raining storming the wind was insane but when i proposed the rain just disappeared it was amazing. After that, we went to Queensland in April for a trip to the Gold Coast and visited some old friends. We also went to the Gold Coast Wet n Wild, which was hella fun, because Rishi's never been there before, which was cool. And we went to Kui Brian's wedding. The wedding itself was out in the country, and we drove pretty far out, but it was a really, really nice day, really nice weather. And we catered with gifts for the recipients um, in the wedding, the guests with our cookies, which is pretty awesome. Then in May, Risi and I went to this Japanese restaurant and it tasted really, really good. It's an all-you-can-eat one. And Risi also went around looking for her dress for a while, so that was also pretty nice. Then in June and July, we bought some stuff like mice and keyboards as well as a monitor for me. We also went around looking for apartments to rent and live in because we're really planning to get married soon. But what happened was in August, the lockdowns were heavy and we didn't know if we could pull through with a wedding. We were able to get married, so we got married, and we moved in and started our little home. Through August, September, and October was majority in lockdown, which was kind of okay. It was nice to be together for a long while in lockdown, and we got used to our cozy home and filled it up with furniture, love, and care. After, we went to my friend's, well, I went to my friend's bachelor party and did some bouldering. It was really cool. First time I went bouldering, uh, it was okay. It was really fun, though. And this was all in November. Then Reese and I went on a little trip to Mudgee. We did some kayaking and then we just spent time out in the country. It was really quiet. And our place had no internet. So we were kind of just playing cards and random stuff. And, you know, I just not really getting to talk to each other, which was really nice. Then in December, which would be this month, I had my friend's wedding to attend. It was a pretty big wedding with restrictions gone, which is amazing and to be honest with you i was a little bit sad that we weren't able to have something like this like really emotional and close with all our friends you know i don't regret it but there was just a tinge of jealousy but kind of really happy you know so that was nice then we hosted our first christmas party and we had a wee bowling competition where funnily enough our first timer apparently who's never played wee bowling which honestly shows my age because some of the people there never played on Nintendo Wii before, so yeah. The first timer won in Wii Bowling, which was crazy. And uh, we watched Spider-Man No Way Home after, um, a few days later, a few weeks later, and we celebrated Christmas with my family. And that's my year in a nutshell. Of course, I skipped over things and rarely talked about stuff, but some of the stuff is still being made, or maybe it's not even edited. And probably some of them I'll be keeping to myself. So, Happy New Year's everyone and have a great rest of the day or whenever this might be. Hope next year is just as good and better. Bye guys!